This video is about love and attitudes toward love and the hero in a worldly world where it's set up for me not to win. First of all, let's look at some basic wordplay that proves my point. Oblivious, obi, love, I, O, remember the reproductive cycle, A's, A for alpha, obi, love, I, O, A's, right, I, perspective of his reproductive cycle and culture, right, cult, culture, cultivation, okay, the A's, the alpha cycle, obi, loves, what love truly is, from the eye of the true alpha reproductive cycle, how could a woman, for example, be oblivious to what this is, completely out of touch, because that's what it takes to not value it. You know, to value money instead of this profound love from God. Obi live, I O A S. He lives his life in the repetition of this perspective, which is true. Okay. And martial arts sparring is part of what helped show that it was true. And this is why the world started doing the secret society stuff. Because there was no viable counter argument 5,000 years ago when Narmer united Egypt. And there's no viable counter argument now. There's just technological bullshit as people make arguments that reflect the, the truths that I live by. Okay, They're oblivious to the fact that the hero is who they're supposed to date, who they're supposed to love, who they're supposed to be receptive to. Then we get the word obvious, right? Oblivious and obvious. You can't make this up, right? Magic spell, right? Phonetics, Canaanite, Phoenicians, Canaanite system, right? Canaanites, Israel, okay? Sumer, Babylon, Egypt, the civilizing forces, the Romans, okay? Obvious, obi vi o as obi vi o as Okay, the true king, obi means king, heart, hut, temple. The true king, right? In, in, in uh, Japanese, it is a belt, the sign of rank, okay? The sign of carrying an idea or carrying something, carrying a baby, you know, and so on, okay? Ob Obi vi o as the true king is gonna vie in the alpha manner. It is obvious. A hero is not gonna put on a thong and vie like a little girl. Okay, he's gonna vie as an alpha martial artist type. Okay, it's obvious. Hey, Shaka Zulu did not rise to power, you know, with with one of those pacifiers, you know, the things the baby suck in his mouth, with a fatty pack on. You know, acting like a bitch. He's going to vie as an alpha spirit. It is apparent, right? He's, it comes from a line of alpha parents, right? Shaka Zulu's father was a guy who didn't play around. His grandfather was the type of guy who didn't play around. They passed down the spear, the generational spear, symbolic of martial arts, the martial arts spirit being passed down the generation. <coughs> Excuse me. Action. A, C, shun, or they're going to act like the eye of An, which is Heliopolis. The sun is a symbol, not just in the occult and martial arts symbols, it, all throughout ancient cultures of masculinity, of masculine dominance, you know, of the king, okay, and of the king being born from his royal lineage, right, divine right to rule, and it was justified with the martial arts. That's why the king had a sword, and Jesus said he came to bring a sword, and so on, right, and the samurai sword, and so on. And the, and the Emperor of Japan sword and so on. Anyway, so now that we look at these ideas, okay, if you're not disturbed by it, there's something wrong with you. Like, they're oblivious. You know, if you're oblivious to this truth and you're dating someone else, isn't that a form of rape? <clears throat> if the people that control the society who made this wordplay and who passed this wordplay down to their children, they're generational snakes. What else could they be? Why aren't you spelling it out to them <clears throat> in your large groups that exist instead of Keeping them oblivious. You're, they're, this wordplay isn't designed to be covered up from genius martial artists. It's obvious they'll emerge. <clears throat> it is designed to be, cut, to, to be kept from attractive women. Okay? All of them. Whether they have a PhD or not. And then they have one of two things happens. One, they remain oblivious all their lives. Or two, they take the worst route and they join these people in tricking other women into sleeping with scum. They're breeding this dumb kind of filth that aren't in touch with God, right? Why are these women naturally like this? Because of it's apparent who their parents are relative to the A, A, the A parent, right? Relative to the alpha parent. Their beta, right? Beta's scrambled is based. 
They are worldly, ground-crawling snakes. And unless they receive the alpha man's natural seed, they will continue breeding oblivious harlots, valley girls, and we all know how they act, okay? Shallow groupies that look up to celebrities who are obviously weirdo scum. How does that happen, right? They're bred for it to happen. They are bred to be oblivious. Now let's look at what happens when they join secret societies. Aphrodite is the effective female in a secret society. The female who is the most effective, in my opinion, in a secret society, I think most people would agree, is the Aphrodite Venus type. She's sexually provocative. She throws you off balance. She enters a room, you're like, whoa. You know, you're like trying to play it off. <laughs> I hope she doesn't see that I'm like all gaga over her and that she thinks I'm cool and that, you know, you know, and so on and so forth, right? So Aphrodite, and uh, I'll put this at the end, right? Um, the Aphrodite card that shows the paralyzation and the trance techniques, okay? The love trance. It was so obvious that they made it part of a card game. Aphrodite has a love trance. She makes you not attack her while she attacks you. Now, how does she attack you? Does she grab a club and hit you in the head? No. Her and hurt atmosphere. She's breaking your heart. She's saying, hey, you ain't shit. And that could stay with you your whole life. You're pissed off and pushing niggas around. Ooh, you got rejected, right? So many ways that attractive females can hurt you, okay? She's with your enemy. She's sleeping with the enemy. She rejects you for some Harry Potter type of bitch, right? And you're like, man, why, why doesn't she like me? She's so hot. And motherfuckers are taught to masturbate and they watch porn and they do all kinds of activities that show their fixation on the attractive females. And people market these females with cars and so on and so forth. Okay. So it's the beta cultural conditioning of the attractive female. And an alpha tries to communicate, right? He might try to read a poem, you know? And this goes back to the wordplay with the craftsman, his Hephaestus, right? Who's compared to, his equivalent is Vulcan, right? Volcanoes, crafts, and so on. And he's said to take, he's said to marry Venus, and Mars has an affair with her, which is symbolic of her actually naturally preferring the martial artist, okay? But she ends up with the craftsman who deals in crafty cunning and magic spelling and bitch shit like that because he's a bitch. And his face is, is a big, strong guy. So whether it's a little Harry Potter fucking guy with a little wizard hat, right? This is a beanie. I'm not a wizard. I don't like wizards. Okay, you know. Or whether it's a big, strong guy who's a skilled laborer. These are very common forms in Western society, for example. How many skilled mechanics and carpenters and plumbers, how many skilled laborers out there? Okay? And their job isn't that exciting. They're not martial art heroes. They're in the repeti re repetitive form of being a craftsman. Now, in the divine order, they can receive the spirit, but outside of it, they're just a craftsman snake who's complicit with a devil, Babylonian, Sumerian, Greco-Roman, Greco-Egyptian, in terms of the bitches from Egypt, system. Okay. Paralyzation. She uses her beauty to make you do whatever she wants to your teammate. Isn't that something? Right. This is right there on the card. Look at it at the end of this video. She uses her beauty to make you do whatever she wants to your teammate. You know, keep your keep your brother down, okay, so you can please this chick, right? Her feminine influence, her pussy plower. You know, oh, oh, I do good. Did I do? Good? You're acting like a complete bitch when you do that, right? That's why women are supposed to obey good men. The people who laid the foundation of Western culture, including the island of Lesbos and the witches who I brought up for years now, were the first feminists, the first true pronounced feminists. Okay, they know damn well what they're doing is wrong. They know damn well it is wrong not to submit to the martial art king and the good man. They know that. They have no doubt in their mind at all. They just want power. That's why witches cackle. They're laughing, reflecting that they're inferior forms of life who know what they're doing is wrong. And why do you think I say that? Am I being harsh? No. These are cunning cunts that trick the damsel in distress into being a stupid bitch like them. Anyway. So we talk about walking with God. There's so many things they give away. Body language, communication, the way I move, even now in my reduced state, walking with God, wall king. Remember the H of the fence, wall king, to keep you from the king, to send them to prison, okay? 
he's walking like a man of God, let's set him up to go to jail. Let's set him up in various ways. Let's use the attractive women and so on. Right? What is the way out of this waking up? The way of the king, the true martial art king. That's which one, right? Way, uh, the wake up. Way, way, ka, the spirit of the uh, pointed up. Right? The sky god, Horus, son of Ra. Okay? Not to be confused with Zeus, the rapist deity. Anu, the dragon deity of the Sumerian system. An, Anu, right? Anyway, so what, what does it mean to hold somebody down? It's right there in the fucking word. Ho is how the word hold sta starts off. My goodness, is it painful, people? Don't you see? It's right there in the word. They're laughing at you. They're like, look, we hold him down. Ironically, I was cut off talking about hold down. It's right there in the word, right? The H is the fence, and you have the word old. Then you have down, the D, own, right? The old is controlling the reproductive cycle. Look up eugenics, okay? Look up social Darwinism. Look up scientific racism, okay? These are various forms of interrupting the reproductive cycle. Right? The old stay away from the white girl, the old you're poor and undesirable, and so on and so forth. And labeling you with a hereditary mental illness, Okay? which even if you had, is nowhere near as bad as these sickos who organize to control reproductive cycle in a way that complete filth gets the most attractive females. And uh, Aphrodite is said to have cursed psyche, right? psychology, psychiatry, so on and so forth. It means soul, it means mind. With falling in love with the most ugly creatures on earth, and they're talking about spiritually ugly. So again, hold, whole L-D, L meaning mentally ill, L meaning Lord. Okay, whole L-D, down. Also, down backwards is NWO, New World Order, D. It's not a coincidence. Okay. So, the argument today is, isn't that women aren't sluts. They're saying don't slut shame. It's like, yes, they're sluts, but they want to help the corporations hold you down. Okay. Again, I've talked about her and hurt, and there's all kinds of wordplay in hurt. Try, raw, rat, right, and right is in ritual. Rot, tear, and tear. Right, when they hurt somebody, right, scramble the word H of the fence, the T, the Y, and the, uh, the, the T, the I, and the R, or the Y, and the R, right, Y can be a vowel. You get the word tear, which is a deity who's compared to Mars, okay, and where we get the word martyr, okay, the martial artist in this context, where everyone's acting like a bitch and technology has been introduced and so on and so forth, and he's trying to connect to God and true love, is expected to be a martyr, okay. They expect that for him, they expect him to do that. That's also why there's a war on terror. Okay, to stigmatize the idea of the handsome, less than rich hero. Look at the song TLC Scrubs, who are they talking about and who they are not talking about. Okay, a scrub is a guy who thinks he's fine. What about a handsome, less than rich hero? And she goes on to talk about how he's not rich and she doesn't want to waste her time on it. Atmosphere A, missed, most, must, miss, fear. Pair, okay. Um, and of course, you know. Well, well, we'll skip that one. Roman and romantic, right? Romantic, right? What made them mad? They didn't like Mars and the hero getting the attractive woman. It's like the typical cartoon villain, except for it was every other cult. They all were pissed, and they're looking for ways to cheat the, the woman out of the handsome hero and the handsome hero out of the woman. And who is the one reaching out to the other? Okay, I'm the one saying, hey, you know, give me my Juliet. Why, they're all bred to be shallow, evil whores saying we don't care about Romeo. Don't you see what's going on here? Okay, that's why they use the hoe to hold him down because women naturally are more worldly, right? They're the ones who get pregnant. They're naturally the ones who are, think in terms of the earth. Their, their stomach is shaped like a round earth ball, okay? And the man is taking on this intense sun masculinity. They're naturally the more worldly. He's naturally the most spiritual. So when it came to holding down somebody, it was easier to target the female and make her oblivious to what's going on. Okay, we, okay, I'm almost out of time. We also get the cap, captivate, cup C, or C up, two by two. Cap, keep to vi, okay? At, av, i, pick, peck, pay, c, p, a, c. And there's all kinds of fucking wordplay there. You know, I kind of slide. Catch, sleep, seeing each other, taken, to go out, pick up, and relationship. How are they related to each other, okay, in the eugenic system? Sabines, right, to pick up the statue of them raping the, the Romans, raping the women in the rape of the Sabines. So the captivate wordplay, the second part, okay? At, av, i, and then the last part, pack backwards, can be pick, peck, pay, c, and p, a, c. Okay, captivate. Cup or c up to vi two. Cap or keep to vi two.